the clear recognition of that which through divine grace the church is of the supreme position she occupies as the body of Christ and of the glory and exaltation which awaits her as the bride of the Lamb is indispensable if a worthy perspective of God's plan and purpose is to be gained. The all but universal disregard on the part of theologians for the Pauline revelation respecting the church has wrought confusion and damage to an immeasurable degree. Two factors serve as paramount causes of this deplorable neglect, namely, the Reformation did not recover this truth as formerly it was held by the early church, and that attitude of the theologians, being bound and confined within the limitations of Reformation truth, has been that of avoiding what to them seems new. No theology would be complete, even as viewed by the Reformers, that did not exalt the first Pauline revelation of the Gospel. However, it is as true, in light of the Scriptures, that no theology is complete that does not recognize and elevate to its transcendent place the second Pauline revelation of the Church. The two disclosures are interdependent and therefore inseparable to a large degree. Together they form that larger body of truth which the Apostle termed my gospel. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. To God only wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen.